Hi everyone, it's Anne, Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a different kind of video. I've been meaning to do this video and this is my bead storage and organization video. I will be doing a charms video as well, but I just wanted to come on and share how I organize all of my beads and for the most part, all of these beads here, they lived on a rascog and for the most part, I hated the way it looked. Every time I pulled one box out, it was such a pain to put back onto the rascog. So when I bought this little storage system and I, my craft room is in the attic and I do have these odd shaped kind of ceilings. So I needed a system that was short enough but powerful enough to to hold my stash and you know I have grown my stash substantially but to be honest it makes me so happy and I love organizing it by color some things I do have to like kind of overlap because there's just not enough to store all of them in its own little drawer but I will go into details on what I keep in these little storage containers but for the most part this is an iris um, storage container it's 64 drawers I believe and they are really deep so for example like this comes out and you could fit a ton and it has that little kind of tab underneath so this won't fall out and then you just push it back in. It fits a ton in here. Oh, that one's a little overly stuffed. But you could see here, I love to organize it by color. I just, I'm such a visual crafter. So if I don't see it by color, just, I don't know, I just tend to forget it or lose it. So I just love, I love this system so much. And, um, if you've been following me for a while now, I love berry beads so much. So these have been such a great little organization system. I'm sorry for the zoom. Um, and it's worked for me. So like, I'll show you in this little drawer here. These are those little Hobby Lobby jemmies. And look, it took a whole drawer. So this is a little bit different. These are all of those little skinny um, drawers and then this one does have the skinny drawers as well but it has um, these three rows of the wider drawers which I love as well because obviously for things like this it takes up a whole drawer um, I have some like leftover knickknack stuff that I just didn't have a home for so I have that in there see pom-poms and then like sometimes I just can't deal or um, I just don't want to these are like excess stuff so I'll just keep them in here um, and then I have the skinny drawers for all my little knickknacks so I will start the in-depth process of how I organize all my other beads but I thought that you can find some stored inspiration and I hope this helps you organize your craft area okay you guys so now I'm gonna do a in-depth view of the containers that I use to organize my beads and I hope this is helpful for you. I know that a lot of people are doing craft room organizations and sometimes I like to see how people organize stuff because it gives me inspiration and gives me ideas to better organize my stash. So here is a box and this box I did purchase. They sell these at the end caps at Hobby Lobby. These are really good for those large chunkier beads and again I told you I'm a very visual person. I like to keep my stash in a container where it's organized by colors. I think it just helps me become a better crafter and I just like to keep the crazy visually appealing so um these i just have some like odds and ends and some leftover these beads are from hobby lobby um they come in a large long box but again i told you i need it sorted by color so here i have it all sorted out they have these at the end caps and they're about two dollars when they have the sale on the jewelry items and 
And honestly, this is such a great box to keep everything contained. You can see it from the top. It's clear and it fits a ton. I usually fit my larger stash of beads in, in these kind of boxes. I have several, I think I have about four of these and I have extra just in case I buy new stuff. So um, love this. And then my go to other go to place is the Dollar Tree. Now, if you go to the automobile section, this is kind of my like Valentine's Day box and um, they sell these in the auto section and I love these boxes in general. I think they just make such a great organization. Um, I like to put in the stuff that I don't have a lot of and mainly my seasonal stuff so if this is this is my valentine's day box but if i have i have one for christmas i have one for halloween so i get to keep all of those seasonal stuff together but i don't actually put it away with my seasonal stuff i like to keep them out just in case i feel like i need a heart or you know or a button or something like that i for for valentine's day i think it's a very universal holiday because you can use hearts all year round but they also make such a great way to um, store my charms and my dangles. These are crystal charms. And they are, most of these are from AliExpress. But you see the hole, you can put a jump ring or a uh, crimp, cinch bail. Yep, a cinch bail. And you can make these dangles. Again, so great because you can keep this all separated and you can see them from the top and they don't really they don't move around so i love this for storage and the other dollar tree box that i love so so much and this is in the the kids basically by the supply section these are all my charms um that i've made I like to keep all the itty bitty bits together because if I do go and make more charms, I can I know where they are all at. And these are charms that I created and I have a video and I will leave a link down below. Basically using um, my stash, I did pull out a lot of these little resin cabochons that I had in my stash that I just never used. And I thought they were great to bust out and here are some little resin ones that i just added a plastic bale so they're ready to go whenever i'm ready again super easy just add a little dollop of e6000 and i have a ton of these little itty bitties and then i went and i even took some of those hobby lobby um jemmies and you put them in little bales my charm stash is so great and you know the best part of this is is that i burned through my stash of little jemmies that i've been hoarding because they're just so beautiful honestly i have a problem with just using all of my like pretties but i got to make a whole bunch of charms so these are little um these are great they're a dollar another great way to store your miscellaneous stuff and then i have a special storage box for my itty bitties um in my most recent aliexpress haul i did show this box and i ordered a whole bunch of these because i love these box for my little itty bitties so these come at michael's they are in a four pack of crystal beads oops crystal beads and basically they they're the little smaller items oh i just mixed the big ones in here and i like again i like to keep them by size um i like they're having its own home um and oops sorry for that and i just love seeing them by colors and just to keep the part that i only need so if i only wanted this little pocket open everything else stays closed so i am very clumsy and i have a tendency to spill things so i just like that i just have access to this one little pocket and then i'm going to close it and then i know this box is my um my crystal beads um and i can come to this you know and then for my seed beads i love these boxes these are the harbor freight boxes and these are so great for seed beads i love the individual 
storage of them and they fit a ton and in here again i told you i have all my little seed beads and i love them by color and it just makes it so visually appealing for me and a better crafter to have them organized these are some extra ones that i did haul from joann's and they're craft item they're check beads i just i have an abundance but at the best part you know that my stash is organized and i know where everything is because i have all of these wonderful containers to keep my crazy at bay and organized i will leave links down below again dollar tree hobby lobby aliexpress and you have harbor freight they are your best friend when it comes to um, organizing and then i will leave my large bead storage um links down below hopefully that's helpful to you and leave a comment if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone